Welcome back. Now, one thing that rings true for folks here in Michiana that I've learned is that this is an area full of givers. And on the topic of giving, I have Northern Indiana Food Bank Executive Director and CEO Mary Jo Martinek here to talk about how you can help your fellow Hoosiers without even having to leave your, your house. You can do it right, right from comfort of your own home. Hi, good, hey, morning. good morning. So um, if you get this in your mailbox, this postcard for the NALC Stamp Out Hunger. Uh, next Saturday, you can participate in the nation's largest one day food drive. Um, and, and we need the help this year. Yeah, I so, so let me tell you something. I got a letter in the mail from Mary Jo. Now, when's the last time someone wrote you a letter and you signed it yourself? And I was like, I have to call her and I have to have, because this, I know this means that this is extremely important to take the time out and make it so personal um, because talk about I, I've had never heard of a stamp out hunger so how does that work and, and what is that right about? so um, this food drive is uh, put on by the National Association of letter carriers and and they're one of the boots on the ground so they see what's happening in the community so uh, they've been doing this food drive for this will be the 31st year. Wow. Uh, so they're in communities and, and they see hunger, they see poverty in communities. So um, they, it uh, takes place on the second Saturday in May and it's often Mother's Day weekend. Um, and people, all they have to do is take some non-perishable food items and put so them in a bag by your mailbox and your letter carrier or a volunteer, they're gonna pick it up. And uh, in our community, um, it all goes to the Food Bank of Northern Indiana. So what's collected in your community, in your county is gonna stay in your county. And for a lot of people, that's really important because they wanna help their neighbors. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's just like, think about it. There's so many things, like if I look at my pantry right now, like I'm sure there is at least four or five items that you yeah. can find that are non-perishable items that you can put in that bag. And I'm sure you got one of those plastic bags like everyone keeps all these plastic yes. bags and puts them in their sinks. You have a bag and you have yep. some things they need. All, all this is this is what I have. So peanut butter is great. There's some noodles. Uh, I've got some canned beans. So again if um, you know we try to think more healthy nutritious items but we always say on Stamp Out Hunger Saturday you know if you are passionate about ramen noodles or <laughs> Uh, cocoa puffs and you give those that uh, and we'll we'll find a hungry um, hungry neighbor to provide it to. Yeah, exactly, because whatever your taste is, someone else's taste is as well, and so wouldn't it be nice to provide somebody with the choice of something that they want? Because sometimes Absolutely. if someone's coming to the food bank, they're there, it's out of a necessity and just taking what they need to, to survive. Absolutely, because, um, you know, we, we often say uh, the people that we serve, really, they look a lot like you and me. These are people in our communities. Exactly. And, uh, you know, how humbling. I, I work for the food bank, but, oh, man, I don't know if I would have the courage uh, to say that I need help. So uh, good thing uh, that we have organizations, we have food pantries, uh, we have volunteers like the National Association of Letter Carriers, uh, people like you who help share this message uh, to feed our hungry neighbors. So next Saturday, you, there, you just, uh, can I pick this up? Yeah, I, like, absolutely. I, like, I like a prop too, Mary yeah. Jo. I'm okay. glad you brought this. <laughs> Um, so, they, so how do you do this? Can you just fill up your bag and leave it? Do you need to call and let them know to pick it up? How nope. do you do a so about it? So if you get one of these in your mailbox, okay. um, you're participating in Stamp Out Hunger. So all you have to do is grab those items, uh, put them out by your mailbox. And you even gave the bag too. Yeah, we you try don't to have the bag. You really can have, yeah. easy. Super simple. Um, put it out by 8 a.m. And then uh, volunteers or letter carriers are gonna pick up those donations. And uh, in St. Joe County, they'll be delivered to the Food Bank of Northern Indiana. Our goal is 100,000 pounds of food. Wow. So need continues to be great. Uh, so this year, we're seeing about, in St. Joseph County, a 15% increase in need for food assistance um, compared to last year at this time. So uh, And the have, summer months are coming, and a lot that means even more, like uh, yeah. the kids, the kids yeah. who are used to being in school and having food there, or, you know, they're yeah. gonna need that, they're gonna, they're gonna supplement that. 
that. A absolutely. So that's why uh, this food drive originally when they piloted it took place in October, but then the uh, Letter Carriers Association contacted uh, food banking officials and summer's really tough. Yeah. You know, we, uh, we try to make it every year through winter and we're not thinking about hungry people in the summer, but that's when the need is high and exactly. food donations are low. And so, okay, so I know this next weekend might be a busy weekend, but if someone wants to help donate, do anything, I, I have the contact information up, I think we can pop it up again. How, how else can they help? If they yeah. say, I can't help on right. sa next Saturday, but I do want to help. Absolutely. So, um, you know, go to um, our website, feedindiana.org. We, we have a lot of volunteer opportunities. You know, let's say uh, you're a business owner, maybe hold a food drive for us um, or, you know, a day of giving. For every one dollar that's donated to the food bank, we can provide up to five meals or eight pounds of food. So trust me, it's better than going to the grocery store uh, to make, uh, to buy food to give. So however you can help, you know, or be an advocate, you know, hunger um, takes place in there it doesn't have a face. People. I say it, this on hunger yeah. and, and homelessness yeah. doesn't have a face. Right. It doesn't have a, a race. It doesn't have a, anything. It, yes. it, it can happen to any person. Anybody. Yeah. And, you know, just a couple of bad decisions or a couple of bad months and or, and somebody. Or a pandemic or something out of your control can Absolutely. happen. So Absolutely. Life can Absolutely. change at the drop of a dime. But I, I appreciate you coming so much, Mary Jo. And I hope that this makes less hungry Hoosiers and we'll be able to participate oh. in this stamp out hunger and just continue to support the food bank Thank as well. So Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back after the break.